President Muhammad Buhari is a man of a few words. Uh, well, he's a man of a few few public speeches rather, and any time he addresses Nigerians, the reactions are usually divided between two camps, and that of those who almost always support his views, and the other which is made up of critics. One point from his New Year message that has been talked about a lot is his view on restructuring Nigeria. Meanwhile, Nigerians have expressed outrage over the inclusion of no fewer than eight dead Nigerians on the list of appointments into the governing board of agencies and parastatals, describing the GAF as a reflection of how the APC-led government runs the country. Dr. David Awurawo, a well, associate professor of University of Lagos, joins us now in the, studio, in the studio rather, for more perspective on this very issue. Good to have you here. Thank you. On the news hour. So let's begin with this uh, the New Year speech by the president talking about restructuring and all that had gone around it. What are your thoughts on that? Let's begin with that first. Well, um, he didn't speak much on the restructuring. He only mentioned it tangentially. And that is surprising, you know, uh, considering how much energy was committed to discussing the issue in the past year. He mentioned it and um, he, done, he also, you know, went into discussing um, presidential system, parliamentary system, and said, well, every country, these systems evolve over a long time and mm -hmm. all. So it was not really definitive about his position on restructuring. But saying that it's not a priority? Uh, well, yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's clear from the way he addressed it. He mentioned it tangentially and moved on to other issues mm -hmm. and never returned to it. Of course, uh, over time, we, I mean, from comments he has made up until now, it is obvious that he does not believe in it. He's, he will not be committed to it, and um, uh, 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 probably he will do nothing about it. Mm. But uh, considering how much energy, how much attention, you know, a researcher has received in the past year or so, and how much of an issue it will likely, you know, be uh, in the run-up to 2019, you know, elections, I, I don't think it's an idea that anybody can run away from. Mm. So I think it's something that the presidency, the president himself, the presidency, should pay more attention to, you know, moving forward between now and 2019. But some and would say that restructuring, sorry, Aziz, some would say that restructuring the country is, might not be ideal at this time because the, Nigeria has come of age for 55 years, no, rather, 57 years, rather, and you cannot talk about restructuring because it's a system that needs to talk about going back to the 1960s where we had regionalism. And so some would say restructuring, is it in terms of resource control, or is it in terms of going back to regionalism, or what exactly are we looking at? Because it's a, a, it's a different ball game here. So what yes, do you say about when this? People have talked about it, people have you know, you know, tried to explain it, some have even presented frameworks on it. Um, when you look at all they have said closely, it is about devolution of power mm. from the center to the other levels. Um, I don't think it's as complicated as some have, have made it seem. It is about constitutional mm -hmm. amendment to ensure devolution of power from the center to, you know, uh, uh, the states and, of course, the local government. And it's about looking at how the constitution is presently structured. We have the exclusive list, the, you know, concurrent, concurrent list. Resolution. It's a matter of transferring certain things from the exclusive list to, you know, uh, uh, the concurrent, concurrent and, you know, in that, in that fashion. So I don't think it's as complicated as people have made it seem. And there is something people tend to confuse, even his president's speech. He talked about um, the, the parliamentary system of government and the presidential system of government. Those ones are not, they, are, they stand on their own. When we operated the parliamentary system of government, we had a federal system, a true federal structure. Under the current presidential system, we can still have a true federal structure. So let's not confuse issues. Let's not confuse the presidential system of government, the parliamentary system of government with devolution of power. Mm. It's about moving items from the exclusive list that the federal government has control over right now to the other level so that the states and the local governments can have more control over the affairs of their people. Okay, and then of course it seems that the president presidency is somehow in the news uh, more uh, than before now. There is the issue of appointing about eight dead people uh, in the woods of some parasitas in the country and Nigerians are still talking about that. And then uh, Garbashi came out to say that the list was compiled in 2015 that Nigerians should just uh, uh, 
um, somehow forget relax on that and forget it. It is shocking, really, <laughs> and uh, unprecedented. I don't think I've heard of anything like this, you know, since uh, Nigeria's independence or anywhere in the world until now. And Gary Bashir mentioned on, sun I mean, uh, on Sunday, on Sunday night, I, I, you know, watched him speak. And he said, it's one of those things, it's a minor thing, let's, all, let's move on. But like you, like you rightly pointed out, many have, you know, used this as a way of assessing how the present administration runs. Mm. That, you know, how can dead people possibly be on the list of appointees? Mm. There are so many things wrong with it. First, it shows that a list prepared in 2015, you know, could not be, things could not be actualized in 2017. So whatever those people might have brought into mm. good governance, the good functioning of the parastators and agencies and all that will have been lost for two years. And then second, the list has now come out. If, when you even look at the list, you know, so many people who have no business being the boss where they are, are there. Somebody coming from NIA yesterday and says, ah, in their own board, there is no academic there. Mm. And what it is, and that's a research, research institute where academics are supposed to dominate the board. So that is also another issue. And of course, this issue of dead people, you know, being on the list. One of those appointed, one of those dead people, apparently, his uh, is very close, for, is from my place. Very, it's about 100 meters or so from my, you know, family house at home, Oboso. Oh, okay. I know, people have been calling me from home and say, ah, what kind of government is this? You people are close to the presidency. What are you people doing? You know, as if to say, since You're we are intellectuals, we are close to the president. Mm. That tells you how people feel about this thing that, the, the, you know, the Karashi says is just one of those things. Mm. The, the, uh, that has happened. Moving forward, a whole lot of things need to be done differently. And what, can, mm. what are those things? First, that um, the president himself needs to be more involved in all of this. I mean, if you're appointing people into, you know, uh, boards and uh, offices, you should, you should not just, they should not bring a list to you, just sign and then the thing is just, uh, you know, posted. You should look at the list and see, are these people, will they, can they deliver? Because at the end of the day, when things go well, the president is praised. When they don't go right, the president, you know, uh, is, is uh, uh, responsible for things that don't go right. It simply shows that the president didn't look at the list. Or and others who should have also looked at it, didn't look at it. Or oh, no one even looked at it because uh, we got information that it was compiled by the former SGF. Exactly. The and dismissed. then they simply just, you know, that tells you that all is not well with the way the administration is running. And that needs to be addressed. In fact, it's a fundamental issue that needs to be addressed this 2018 and moving forward. Uh, but then, um, well, uh, many would say that somehow the government, uh, this present administration, doesn't even want to listen to uh, constructive criticism. That that could be another issue entirely. Do you believe so? Yes. Um, I mean, there are a whole lot of things that people have raised issues about. That we, by now, one would think that the government should have, you know, done things differently on. But, you know, not much has taken place in response to those calls. Let me just give you two, two examples. Mm -hmm. Appointments generally. If you look at the, the, the structure of appointments, I mean, the, the lopsidedness is a fundamental issue. And to be very specific, you wonder whether the South East belongs to this country when you look at some of the list of the appointments. And when you look at the list of those retired, it's the opposite. The majority are from that same zone where few or nobody at all appears on the list of appointments. I would think that the government should have, you know, paid attention to this, responded by now. That is one. Second, Hesman's attack. I was surprised that the president didn't mention it in his speech. Mm. It is a fundamental, even today, you know, overnight to this morning, we see had, you know, people just invading villages, burning, killing, abducting. And yet that, was, that is not big enough, you know, for attention to be paid to. So these are issues that, you know, seem to suggest that the presidency is not responding enough to developments across matters. the country and to people's you know comments on those issues all right let's leave it at that and hope the president gets to do the needful especially as nigerians wait for the better things to come in the new year mm. david dr david awurawo would like to thank you very much for your analysis thank you. on the news hour thank you